welcome to another quick video on basic fiber optics. So right here I have a handheld laser source as well as a power meter. And I think we should take a look at how we actually measure power, how we measure the loss of different uh, fiber optic devices. So let me start by first cleaning the end phase here, as you're always supposed to do with three strokes like so. Then I'm going to hook it up to the input of the power meter like so. And then I'm going to turn on the laser and make sure that I set the correct wavelength here. So it says 1550 here and 1550 up here. All right, so right now it's telling me that I have 163 microwatts. But usually when we do fiber optics, we actually don't measure it in, uh, in watts, we measure things in uh, dBm, which is decibels relative to milliwatt. So you can see that this is negative 7.89 something dBm. Now, um, the really practical thing about measuring things in dBm is that um, typically the optical power we, we see happens on very different um, scales of magnitude. You can have things up to like maybe tens of watts, watts, uh, hundreds of milliwatts, all the way down to like micro and nanowatts. So it's really convenient to have a logarithmic scale that um, that tells us the power. So, for example, when we have zero dBm, that corresponds to just one milliwatt. And if we have, let's say, um, 3 dBm, that corresponds to 2 milliwatts. If we then have 6 dBm, that's 4 milliwatts. And if we have, let's see, 9 dBm, that must be 8 milliwatts. And then 10 dBm, that's 10 milliwatts, and then so on and so forth. So a really good rule of thumb is that whenever you see a change of um, 3 on the uh, dB scale, that corresponds to doubling whatever power you, you have. And same thing goes that if we subtract 3, then we get a, um, a reduction by a factor of 2 of the, of the available power. All right, so let's actually see how we, in practice, measure the transmission of a component. So right, I'm going to press the ref button here. So that should tell the device to measure all the power that comes in relative to the amount we have here. Because typically when you plug in a device in fiber optics, then you lose a certain percentage of the power. Maybe you lose 10% or 20% or 30%. And if we press the ref button here, then we've normalized everything to the amount of power that's currently at this fiber output here. So to demonstrate, I'm going to unplug this and then take this component right here, which is simply a static attenuator. Let me see if we can get the camera to focus. Come on. There we go. So you can probably see that it says five decibels on the, the little label right here. So I'll leave it to you to guess what's going to happen if I plug the fiber end into this attenuator and then plug that into the power meter. So let me make sure I clean this as well so we get a proper reading. And it's in here, tighten it. And indeed we see around a negative five decibel loss right here. So in other words, whatever power we had here at the output of this end right here is reduced by five decibels when it goes to the other end of this, this component. Just a bit measure, let's actually try and hook up another component right here. I'm not going to tell you which one it is. I'll let you guess that based on the new reading we get. Let me clean this and hook up the new one here. Like so. And let me clean this as well. And see what we get. So now we get negative 14 something. So if you're a clever, you might infer that this attenuator here is a 10 decibel attenuator. Because you can see that we've gone from negative 4 point something decibel to like negative 14 something. So these aren't actually very precise, it turns out. It looks like they actually don't completely match with the, the label here, but it's, it's good enough, it's close enough. The reason why we usually use attenuators in uh, fiber optics is if um, we want to make sure that we don't have too much power hitting the, uh, whatever we're trying to measure. For example, if we want to shine this light onto a photodiode, then we have to make sure that we don't put in so much power that the photodiode completely saturates, or even worse, if you put in way too much power, even it gets, uh, gets burned or destroyed. So anyway, this is a quick explanation of how to measure power using fiber optics. So the idea is that you typically want to measure the loss in decibels by first normalizing to a certain location, and then plug in your components, and then plug it into the same device you use to, to normalize with here. Alright, I hope that makes sense. I'll see you in the next video.